In today's Madden 21 tip, we're going to be taking a look at some left edge pressure in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my channel before, my channel basically gives you tips and strategies to get better at Madden. I post four times a day here on YouTube, uh, different concepts, different strategies that you can test out uh, for yourself and add what you want and discard what you don't want. But basically these are free tips that I do here every day on my YouTube channel. I also have um, a full comprehensive uh, guide that you can pick up in the description with this um, entire playbook broken down. But this is just one play from the guide. So if you like this play, you'll love the guide because there's over a hundred pages of of offensive and defensive uh, game plan, uh, game plans and play setups for you uh, to be able to consume. So, anyways, let's jump right into this. So, this is the nickel normal, and I am basically coming out of nickel normal, and I'll show you real quick. Um, I come out of nickel normal, nickel blitz two. I like nickel blitz two a little bit better than buck slant show two, in my personal opinion, um, because of where the linebackers go whenever you press coverage. I think it just makes the blitz a little bit more consistent. Um, and I actually like nickel normal better than big nickel over G from a blitzing standpoint. I think nickel normal gets better pressure. That's just my personal opinion. Um, the pressure I, th I think is just better, more consistent from nickel normal. And it kind of weaves into our entire 46 defensive playbook and defensive scheme, saying that in this year's game, nickel packages are really, really powerful. So you know, let's jump into Nickel Blitz 2. And all you're going to do, literally, is uh, I put base align on in my coaching adjustments. You don't have to base align uh, this blitz because it's going to come in on either side. Um, you can leave auto flip on if you want. If you think you get better alignment that way against the run, more than happy to. Um, you can easily do that. But all we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defense, crash our defensive line down. And then we're just going to QB contain, bring this guy in right off the edge here. You want him kind of right out here. Um, you want him. You don't want him stacked directly on the hip of the defensive lineman. You want him a little bit more outside. You just want to make sure he's on a contain. And then from there, all you're going to do is use this right of screen linebacker, put him on a blitz, and you're just going to let him go forward a little bit, and then you're going to jump into seams for coverage. Snap of the ball, he's going to go forward just a little bit, and what you'll see is that there will be some left edge pressure on the line. Now, I might have waited a little bit long. Sometimes in practice mode, whenever you wait a long time to snap the ball, um, the offensive line, for whatever reason, could build up. Uh, <laughs> intellect to be able to stop this but you kind of want to just hover right in here you just want this left guard or right guard to pick you up um, and what you'll see here is you're either going to get edge heat or you're going to get gap heat from that defensive uh, tackle on that on that left side let me show you this real quick whoops drop him in coverage and like I said you're just you're just you're wanting to go right into this into this lane right here and as you see right there, the pressure is going to scream in right off the left edge. Now, if you're having issues getting the edge pressure and you really want to ensure that you can get edge pressure, one thing you can do is you can crash your line to the right with this. The problem with doing this, in my opinion, is it makes it a little bit more, um, you see right there, if they do pick up the edge pressure, then the gap pressure doesn't always come in because you're, you're basically kind of tipping your hat to the offensive line. So what I personally like to do is I like to, you know, just run – this with the crash line down look and then that way if they do pick up the edge heat then I know that you know I'm going to have some other pressure coming in and like I said you want to kind of be right in here and literally my hovering is going to go here and I'm just going to go in and out um, that's all I'm going to do at the snap of the ball so here get that guard to pick me up and then I come out in coverage and uh, typically like I said you'll get that left edge pressure I might have held held things a little bit too long we'll show you this one more time baseline get him in that gap and you can also, like if you stand right here, um, the same kind of same kind of thing will occur. And there you see, there we almost got that edge heat or that uh, gap pressure to be able to come in. But this blitz works a lot better in game. It actually works a lot better when you're playing um, in head-to-head -head all Madden uh, difficulty. So if you're playing Madden on all pro, uh, I find that the blitzes don't work as consistent. The pressure is just not as good on all pro. Um, really, the game in general is not as good on all pro. But on all Madden, a lot of the bugs, a lot of the challenges that you would face against, um, like drop picks and all those other things like that, those are a lot better on all Madden than on all pro. Um, so anyways, guys, you'll see here, like I said, you're just going to stand in this gap, and you're just going to basically come down and do a little loop. 
and you will you will typically get that left edge heat to come in and if you're not getting the left edge heat consistently like I said one thing you can do with this is you can simply crash your line either out or crash them to the left it's going to kind of open up a little bit more of a window here um, and you'll get you'll get some pressure as you see there you either get instant sheds or you'll get uh, disengages when you crash your line out or to the left side so you can kind of experiment a little bit with the crashes of the line um, another issue with practice mode is kind of when you run the same blitz over and over again for whatever reason um, they kind of make it so that you can't you, you you can't do that so you know just some things with this blitz and practice mode is kind of why it's being a little finicky but i assure you this does work in game um, in fact if you go back and watch some of the um, some of the King of the Hill episodes, this is one of the major blitzes that you'll see people running in Madden right now. They're either going to run it from 245, they're going to run it from nickel normal, or they're going to run it from big nickel over G. But this basic concept um, exists in Madden. It's a, it's a very simple you know, five-man pressure. And you don't want to run this every single play. You simply want to run this when the time is right. And when the time is right, you see you're going to get that great, powerful edge pressure that is very very difficult to pick up especially if your opponent's not blocking their running back if they block their running back um if their running back is on the left side of the screen he's going to be able to pick this up but as you can see right there you just let them kind of cover let them pick you up and you're going to get that left edge heat so anyways guys just a quick tip today just wanted to share this blitz with you if you don't already know about it um the setup will be in the description and if you want the entire scheme from this defensive ebook this defense is really really good nickel normal and big nickel over g are better this year than they've ever at least in my opinion better than they've ever been um because nickel defense in general is better than it's ever been because nickel defense, you you basically have to be in nickel, in my personal opinion this year, because nickel allows you to put your safeties everywhere, but at the same time it doesn't um, it doesn't make you get destroyed by running plays like the dime does. And a lot of people are um, a lot of people are running the ball. So, uh, and we'll have run defense coming for you soon here on the channel, so make sure to subscribe. We do have some videos out about stopping the run, but I want to get a little bit more specific and talk about um, specific situational running defenses like fourth and run, one defense, goal line defense, fullback dive defense, you know, those kind of things. So that's all coming on the channel. Um, but also, if you have a question, my number's in the description. And I actually started something new real quick. I did want to tell you about uh, every – I post a lot on YouTube. I post four videos a day. But every single week there's one specific tip that I think is like the highlight tip of the week. And it's going to be an exclusive tip that we're not going to release to the general public on YouTube. It's going to be by, by um, individual only. And so if you want to sign up to be able to receive that tip of the week um, where I kind of do basically a little bit of an update about – you know, just what's going on in the game and uh, what you can take away from it. It's going to be a little bit more in-depth, a little bit more um, exclusive. But if you want to get that tip every single week, all you have to do is send me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. It is also in the description for you as well. So just send me a text message. Let me know you want to get that tip every single week. And you'll sign up, and that way um, you'll become a texted member. Also, if you haven't jumped in the Discord yet, be sure to do that. Discord is a great place just to be able to connect um, with other Madden players um, and just get better. So you can do that by jumping in the Discord. Link is in the description for all of this stuff, including the ebook. But I got to run a couple videos that are going to come up on your screen for you that will help you in Madden 21. And we will be live streaming tonight on YouTube at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you for your time.